Hi, I'm Harish and in this channel, I talk about various no code tools using which you can build pretty much anything from a website to an app or an automation or even voice based skills. And this is episode two of building stuff with tally.so and tally.so is a form builder where you can create aesthetically pleasing forms without having to write any piece of code. The last in the last episode, we have checked out how to create a basic form and get a link that you can share anywhere or embed it anywhere you want. And in this video, we will look at how you can check the responses of the form, the hidden fields using which you can track and do more with your form and also look at how to create a thank you page where you can redirect the user after they submit. And also last but not the least, being able to share your forms as templates so that people don't recreate the same types of forms if they want to use the similar form that you're already using. Right. So let's get started. So the last time we left off here in this page, and if you see there is a responses tab, here is where you can see the responses of people submitting your form. So let's just quickly open our form first and submit it and see how the responses appear. So I'm just going to do Harish and I can, I can be reached at here. And my question is, With that do subscribe guys. So I'm just going to do go and that's it. The form is submitted. And now let's go back to our page and go back to responses. As you can see, without even doing anything, the response is right here, right? And you can download the CSV file of this response, import it to Google Sheets or Airtable, wherever you want. That's pretty much how you can handle responses. Now quickly go back to the form and see how we can add hidden fields, right? So if you click on plus, you will see hidden fields option. As you can see, I, all, I was already testing it. So you can see there is one hidden field already here, right? Now you can add multiple hidden fields to be able to track different stuff. And how do you, or why do you need a hidden field, right? Hidden field can be used to track data. Let's say for an example, you have a referral link. You are asking your customers to refer others. Now, how do you track who's sending who, right? That is one way. And then there are UTM parameters using which you can track the traffic or where the traffic is coming from to your form, right? There are five UTM parameters. Probably in another video, I'll talk about them, but these are standard and uh, they can be used to track different ads that you're running or different social media posts that you're doing or different links that you have on different websites from where you are trying to get customers, right? So once you insert a hidden field, it'll just appear right here, right? So so we've added a couple of them. I'll just remove one for the sake of this demo and show you how to use just one hidden field. So you need to identify this field by a name or a value or a label, right? Whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to do referral and the example being you want to track referral links, right? As simple as that. Now this is obviously a hidden field. So we'll just do publish. And now once I click on share, you will obviously get the same link for you to share, right? Now how are we really tracking hidden fields for that? You should add the name of the field that you just entered in the field to the URL. And how do you do that? It's very simple here after this. Okay. I can't type there. So I'm just going to use the browser here. So the URL is here. Then you have to enter question mark and then ref is equal to tracking demo. That's it. You have to enter the name of the field that you've added and just add the value that you want to track. So let's say you give this to a person called XYZ, you want to enter XYZ. If you have an affiliate code, enter the affiliate code there and you should be able to track. Now let's see if this really works. So I'm going to enter my name again. Now I'm this time I'm going to enter some random name just for the sake of this demo guys. I don't know who Ram Babu is. Right. I click on go and it should submit. Now we should see if tracking hyphen demo 
gets stored in the responses tab. So I'm going to go back here, go to responses tab. And if you see the latest one is on the top and ref is the hidden field that we added and question mark ref is equal to tracking demo. So tracking demo gets tracked and you can add any number of hidden fields and track multiple values so that you know how people are ending up on your form and submitting it if they are submitting it. Very helpful for tracking guys. So make sure you take the best use of uh, hidden fields. Now the next one that I want to discuss as part of this video is to be able to create templates out of these forms, right? Let's say you created a form, which is a very common form, which you think multiple people can take advantage of. You can just scroll down on the sum summary page and share tab and click on create. And what this will do is create a template that you can share with anybody you want, right? You can create a template name, add the Visibility public means anybody can be able to access it private means only who you share the link with will be able to access it and then the category of this form right what category of this does this form fall into the preview screenshot this can be the screenshot of the form itself and description as to what this form is about and click on complete and you get a template link that you can share and others will be able to easily import this that's how you create templates so we have covered how to view responses, we've also covered hidden fields, we've also covered templates and the last one for this video, which is also not the least one but a very, very, very interesting feature is to be able to create a thank you page where you can redirect the user post submission. For that, we'll quickly edit the same form that we are working on and click on page here, right? So I clicked page. Now what will happen is you see that the same thing gets inserted in the same page, but you can convert this to a thank you page. That's it. That's how, that's pretty much how this gets uh, redirected to the thank you page. One last thing before we see how this works is obviously if you see here, the thank you page content is empty. So let's just quickly say thank you for submitting. I will get back to you soon. That's pretty much the content. You can also modify this by selecting it and making it bold and you can also highlight if you want this in a different color and if you want to convert this into a heading you can also quickly click on plus and enter insert a heading itself right instead of this being a smaller text that's it now we don't need this that's it that's how you create a thank you page now let's publish this again and see it in action also, if you have noticed, you can also see the responses from here after you publish a form. So I'm going to quickly do share and open the form again. Now we can probably open it here itself. So I'm just going to refresh this and that should load the form back up again. Cool. Now I'm going to submit this again. Now I'm going to enter another name. Again, I don't know who Kishore is or I don't have any friends with the same name. So just for an example, guys. Now, random test and I'm going to click on go and that should submit and show us the thank you page. There you go. Our thank you page is also ready. As you are probably aware by now, this logo is customizable. The image here you see is also customizable. I haven't added anything. That's why this color, which still looks way better, right? And this is our thank you page. That's how you send people to thank you page. And in the next episode, we'll look at how you can redirect people to different thank you pages based on what they submit and a different form also as an example. With that, see you in the next one. Drop a like if you found this useful and consider subscribing. And if you know somebody who's looking for developers or trying to find developers to get their idea built, send them here because this channel is all about building stuff without coding. See you in the episode three of building stuff with tally.so. Peace.